Good morning and welcome to our online worship. We're so grateful you've chosen to join us today. As we pray that as we lift up the name of the Lord, you are encouraged in Jesus' name. Holy, 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 holy is the Lord God Almighty, worthy to receive glory, worthy to receive honor. it is to serve him hallelujah this song says praise is rising hallelujah hearts are turning to you hallelujah sing with us this morning praise is rising
exalted, the King is exalted on high. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. For he is Lord. He is Lord. He has risen from the dead. And he is Lord. See on the 
cross he took my sin he took your sins now he is lord yes he is lord yes he is lord yes he is lord and Welcome once again to the New Testament Church of God, Wood Green, church with a difference, reaching people, changing lives, advancing the kingdom of God. Today I would like to speak to you on the topic, look unto me. I want to start by giving an introduction on this great man by the name of Charles Spurgeon. And he got saved from this chapter in Isaiah 45, verses 22 and 23. And I would like to read that to you. It says, Look unto me and be saved, all you ends of the earth, for I am God. And there is no other. I have sworn by myself, the word has gone out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return. That to me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall take and oath. That's the word, the two verses that Spurgeon got saved by. One day he was in a meeting and the preacher was preaching and the preacher said, pointed this man out. He said, why do you look so sad? He called him and he encouraged him and says to him, look, look to Jesus, look to Jesus, look to him. And when Charles Spurgeon did what the preacher told him to do, then he gave his life to Jesus. Oh, how wonderful that is. And I want to say to each and every one that there is only one answer to the world's need is Jesus Christ. And I want to speak on also salvation. The word of God says that only Jesus can save us. Only he is the way. And I would like to share that scripture with you from John chapter 14 verse 6. The word of God says, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. In other words, Jesus is saying, the only way to salvation is through me. I am the only way. Today, people are looking in various directions. Some are looking to certain uh, mediums, some are looking to the government, some are looking to certain people who are, they've got big names, they're famous. But here Jesus made it very clear. He says, I am the only way to the Father. That means 
that if you're going to get saved, your sins forgiven, then Jesus is the one that you need to come to. I want you to know today that Jesus is calling. Yes, he's calling. Calling men and women, boys and girls, to come to him. Why? Because he loves you and he wants you to have the better life. That is called the eternal life. Jesus says that I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. So the salvation that he is talking about here is a bit different to how the world sees it. The world knows salvation has been rescued, yes, from harm. But the salvation that Jesus is talking about here is the one where you come in acknowledgement with him. You come to him repenting of your sins. When you repent, the word repent means to change your mind. When you come to Jesus and you repent and you accept him into your life, your sins are forgiven. So now you're not under the condemnation of sin. You're under his grace. That's what salvation is in the spiritual. You're no longer condemned, but you are forgiven and you are free. The next thing, you're not under the bondage of sin. You are free in Christ. The songwriter says, I am free. Praise the Lord, I am free. I am no longer bound. No more chains holding me. Hallelujah. So, you're not under the bondage of sin. Neither are you guilty anymore. Because God has forgiven you. Salvation only comes through Jesus Christ. Now, the word says here in Isaiah 22, look unto me. That's the first thing you do. The world needs to look to the only source that can give them eternal life. That's Jesus Christ. The world tends to do everything else except to look to Jesus. So, uh, so it says in Isaiah, look to me. Why? Because I have the answer. If you, look, if you look at the previous verse before that, it was speaking about idols. Now, idols are false gods. Idols is anything that you put before God. And you, you can call anything God as long as you place your importance on it. But the word of God says, look to me. That's what the world needs to do right now. And even as I'm talking, I sense the challenge that this word will have on many communities, on many cultures today. But I'm here to prophesy and let you know that Jesus is the answer. Hmm. That's important. Now, it says here, look unto me. That's one. You got to look to the right person. Now, the word of God didn't say you must look to your pastor or look to a church. No. It says, look unto me. Who is me? Jesus. Look to me. Then the next thing it says, and be saved. That's right. Look to him, Jesus, and you will be saved. That's the only way. So that's number two. Watch number three. All the ends of the earth. What's all the ends of the earth? It's speaking of every 
every corner where nations are, where people dwell. Yes, so that means that the gospel is open to every nation. Doesn't matter where you're from, it doesn't matter who you are, it's open to you. That's why the word of God says in John 3 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Notice what it says, whosoever, that's, that's what that part is speaking about, the whosoever. It doesn't matter whether you are big or small. It doesn't matter whether you are rich or poor. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what culture you're coming from. The fact of the matter is you've been given an opportunity to come to Jesus because of the love of God. He loves you and he wants to come into your life. So it says look to him, be saved. Opportunity is for everyone. Now let me, let me say this to you now. A person has, if a person has a million pounds, he is called a millionaire. So it is, a person who has Christ, you will become a Christian. That's as simple as that. You've got to have Christ in your life to be a Christian. Mm. So it says here, for I am God. So it's letting the world know that he is the one that is the source of life, creation. You can't get away from that. God is the creator of the heavens and the earth. People give all different kinds of opinions and they say, oh, we come from evolution. We come from this, we come from that. But the Bible gives it this thing very, very clearly. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So, so the word of God wants nations to know who he is. And why he sent his only begotten son. Because God wants mankind to live. To have joy. To have peace. To have a future. That's why God did all what he did. For you. And for me. So it says here, I am God. And there is no other. Ladies and gentlemen, know this. That there is no other God except Jehovah. The self-existent one. The one that breathed life into man, into his nostrils. And he became a living being. God wants to reveal himself to the world today. Why? Because he wants men and women to repent. He wants them to know that if you truly want a better life, you truly want a life that will last forever in bliss and in harmony with the creator, is that you first have got to accept Jesus Christ into your life. Hear what it says in 1 John Chapter 5, verse 12. He that hath the Son have life. Mm. And he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. So Jesus is, Christ is telling us clearly in the word that if you truly want to have the eternal life is that you've got to have Jesus in your life. Mm. That's why the word of God says that if you don't repent, 
you shall all likewise perish. If you don't repent, you will not have the Son of God in your life and you will not be ready for the eternal life. So it's important, my friends, whoever you are, Jesus is giving out this salvation message to each and every one because men and women need to understand that unless Jesus Christ is in your life, you're going in the wrong direction. Unless you have Jesus in your life, there is no hope for the eternal. Jesus says that it's only in him we live and move and have our being. That's right. And so it's so important that Jesus Christ is in your life. I also want to share something with you too. As I'm speaking, the Lord is showing me some people right now. You've been going to various people who deal with like mediums, soothsayers, people who do Ouija boards. That's what he is showing me right now. And some of you will be watching this broadcast. I want to say to you, and I'm seeing some, I'm seeing some young people. Yeah. I'm seeing some young people. You'll be watching this. And you'll be saying, wow, I didn't know this. Of course you didn't know. It's because they're not going to tell you the truth. They're not going to tell you who they are. Or who is behind all what's going on in their life. There is somebody right now. You've got your... You're, you've actually gone to a medium and they said to you, you're going to get pregnant. You're going to get pregnant. But that was a year ago. A year ago. You're watching this broadcast. This was a year ago. But yet still, you're asking the question, but how is it that I'm not pregnant yet? Lady, I just, would, I just want to say to you that it's because it wasn't true in the first place. You also paid that person some money. Mm. As a matter of fact, you paid, this is what God is revealing to me, you paid 350 pounds. Mm. Now, who could reveal this except the Almighty God? So, lady, I want you to understand that Jesus loves you and he wants to help you. And the reason why he has not called your name is because right now you're in a state. You're in a state of fear. God says, fear not. Although you're, you're going to watch this broadcast. But he said, fear not, for I'm here for you. Fear not, for I'm here to help you. Fear not, because I'm going to turn your life around. There is an opportunity for you, because you've been looking for an answer to your need. Here, Jesus is giving you that opportunity. Wow. What a revelation to receive. So the Word of God says, Take note, verse 22, take note of that. Take note of that. God is speaking to you. It also says, and I'm speaking to this young man. Now, God now is revealing his name. Your name is Gerald. Gerald, that's the name that's coming to me. Well, Gerald... The word that the Lord is bringing to me from this two verses in Isaiah 45 
verse 22 and 23, is this. There is no other. That's what he's saying. There is no other God. As a matter of fact, you went, you didn't go to a medium, but you went to a person that is a fortune teller. Now, a fortune teller, yes, they predict me, they, they predict your future. Some, some of them look in your hands to tell you what you're going to be. But yes, I see desperation. Gerald, I see desperation. That's what, that's what I'm seeing right now. Desperation. But God says, don't be desperate anymore. You can come to me. Call on me and I will answer you. Call on me and I will help you. Call on me and I will change you. Call on me and your life will move in a better direction. Call upon me and you won't have to contend with any more lies. Gerald, that's your name. Wow. The word of God says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. God wants to give you rest. Mm. He wants to help you. And I am so happy for you. Why? Because you're, co you're coming to the right person. I see you at some point. You're going to come to a meeting. And you're going to give your life to Jesus. Wow. 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 That's awesome. I also want to share something with another person. But the Lord is not revealing his name. Only one name he has revealed. It's a... It's, it's a this man, your life has been going from one extreme to the next. But here, the word of God says, in Acts chapter 4, verse 12, it says, Neither is there salvation in any other. No salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven. No other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Wow. So only the name of Jesus. No salvation, no saving grace. Mm -hmm. No forgiveness of sins in no other name but Jesus. I want you to know that Jesus is the Savior of the world. Jesus is the one that is ready to come into your life. Jesus is the only way for you. Because you've been looking, you've been asking, you have been going to various people, but have not come with the right answer. Jesus wants you to know here and now, that there is no other name. No other name but the name of Jesus. He wants you to know today that yes, you can come to him. Right now, we give God praise for what he's doing. Because even as I'm speaking, I'm seeing a world right now in the distance. I'm seeing a world. They are dismissing certain things from the Bible. Some are saying that the Bible is not true. Some are saying that man write the Bible. But let me declare to each and every one, the word of God says that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. That's number one. Number two, God inspired men to write the Bible, special men, where the Holy Spirit, the Word of God said, God breathed through them. That means that God was the one that worked through them. He's the one that led them to write the Bible. 
not in on anybody. So these men were inspired of God. I want you to know whoever is watching here today that God is real. The word of God is true. The Bible says let God be true and every man a liar because that's how it is. God is true. God never lies. Whatever he says he will do, he will do it. Whatever, whatever, it doesn't matter. The, the, the Bible says that his word will not fall to the ground. He, he will accomplish everything that he has spoken. And his word will come to pass. Yes, he said his word is true. His word is right. His word will never fail. He said heaven and earth will pass away, but his word will not pass away. God wants the world to know that if you do not come in his direction, you're going in another direction. That is not safe. You go in another direction. That will bring destruction. The Bible says that there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof is the way of destruction. The Word of God says that the only person that can give you the hope of eternal life, the only person that can give you a future is Jesus Christ. Yes, You've been asking all kinds of questions, but God is giving you the answer. And I'm seeing a world right now. Some is, some is moving one here. Some is moving on my left. Some is moving on my right. But also, the good thing about it is that some are believing the Bible for what it really is. What God is showing me is powerful, my friends. I'm seeing, oh, let me say this, let me say this. I'm seeing Buddhist. Oh, yes. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing, amen, Muslims. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing, yes, I'm seeing humanists. You know what a humanist is? Humanist is a person who really, they, they, they don't accept God. I'm seeing some people are coming to God. Why? It's because they're having an experience in their lives. God is doing something. God is revealing himself. And that's why things are changing. Oh, this is a powerful moment in the lives of men and women today. I want to share t verse 23. Listen to this. And it's going to prove what I'm saying. It says in verse 23, I have promised by myself, listen to this, I have promised by myself, the word has gone out of my mouth. So God is speaking. His word has gone out of his mouth. Hear what it says, in righteousness. So that means that God is right every time. God is right every time. Righteousness speaks of right, right standing, uprightness. So here God says, I'm right, and it shall not return. Listen to this, he says, every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall take an oath. In other words, there's a time coming from every nation, from every corner of the earth, that everybody at some point is going to bow and confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Now, let me explain something else. This can be a good way for you or it can be bad for you. Now, let me explain that. This means that if you believe in Jesus Christ and you accept him as your Savior, when you bow and you confess, that speaks of a future, of a good, blissful, eternal life. But guess what? If you do not believe and you still do not accept Jesus Christ, although you will still confess him, as Lord and you bow your knee you're heading for destruction that's the word of God 
So you could do it two ways. You can either accept him or reject him. But every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Lastly, what I want to say to you today, to each and every one, God loves you and he wants you to have a future. He's, God is offering salvation and he wants and he's giving everybody an opportunity to give your life to him. Why don't you do that today? After listening to this, some of you are going to really think about it. But once you've thought about it, the songwriter says, say yes to Jesus. Don't say no, for this is your opportunity of eternal life. May God richly bless you and keep you. And let his face shine upon you and give you peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to this broadcast. If you would like us to pray with you, or perhaps you have a testimony you wish to share, please contact us by email or telephone. Our email address is admin at ntcgcathedralofpraise.org.uk or telephone 0208 888 9427. We look forward to hearing from you. Giving is a part of worship. Your gifts enable us to fulfill our mandate of reaching people, changing lives, and advancing the kingdom of God. Your donations, tithes, and offerings can be given via the account details on your screen. Alternatively, you may wish to contact us on 0208-888-9427. That's 0208-888-9427.